nothing will ever be the same. From the way we talk to the way we touch, everything that once was will never be again. So you'd think that for a shopaholic like myself that lives off seeing stores, the complete shift to online shopping would be difficult. You can't teach an old dog new tricks, they say. But I'll admit, that never really applied to me. I mean, after all, I'm a fast learner. What is up guys, if this is your first time seeing me, hi, hello, my name is Fran, I'm a fashion blogger and I love to create all kinds of content on styling, trend reports, hauls, DIYs, but my all-time favorite thing to do is give tips and tricks on how to cop luxury styles or generally fun trends affordably and easily. First things first, I just want to say I'm so so sorry for being so inconsistent with my posting schedule. I took like a month long hiatus off of YouTube, but all for good reason. I decided to focus on my little quarantine clothing brand called Off Duty Avenue. So I was working on a lot of tie-dye pieces, but I'm getting ready to release my official launch collection, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, for today's video, I have something super, super fun planned out for us. I have been so busy online shopping. Honestly, my main coping mechanism over quarantine is shopping. So I thought this is the perfect way for me to justify those purchases, you know, sharing it with you guys and hopefully introducing you to new brands you might have not heard of or you haven't checked out yet. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first dress that I got is the Arizona dress from Cali Collective. It's this beautiful spotted slit dress with a crisscross back. I really love this. It's so playful and so chic. Next up is this yellow gingham self-tie bustier dress. I got this from someone on Carousel. Brand new, unused, and still with tags intact. I actually have this exact dress on my Pinterest board and I put that there like months ago. So when I saw this on a listing, I snagged it right away. Then I got the Alton mini skirt from Princess Polly Boutique. I've wanted this for so, so long. It's this really cute pink and red satin floral skirt. I actually got it through a Pesa Bay service on Carousel. So basically on Carousel, if you search Pesa Bay, you'll find a bunch of people who are basically acting as like middlemen for international shopping. So you tell them what you want from abroad, then they handle like all of the order placing, the customs and all that. Then you split the shipping fee with the rest of the people availing of the same service and you also pay them a shopper's fee. Lots of people do pre-orders or Pesa buys for Brandy Melville and similar brands. It's just the same concept, you tell them what you want, they place the order for you, then you split the shipping fee with the rest of the people who are sharing that like box with you so you guys can get a discount on the shipping if you reach a certain amount. Then you pay the local shipping fee to get it to your place. Then I got this one shoulder corset style top from Shein. This is so elegant and so unique. It reminds me so much of a Narek Beltran piece, so I knew I had to get this. I am literally obsessed over corsets, so when I found out that my friend from my PE class last semester could crochet, I asked her to make me this custom crochet corset top inspired by Colleen Diaz's outfit photo, and it looks so good. They're also selling this exact piece on their IG, Lawless of Manila. Go get it, guys. It's adorable. This one's basically like a two-in-one. My bottoms are from Brandy Melville. They're blue plaid trousers, which feel a lot like pajamas, honestly. And then my knitted top is from Shein. Very Aris and Iris, so very my style. I've been eyeing this corset style bodysuit from Misguided for ages, so when Zalora finally went on sale, I picked it up and never looked back. This top holds a special place in my heart because I've been obsessed over with Jean's Rendezvous top. So when I saw the local store Gleam Darling make a similar version, I asked them to make me a custom one with more coverage and they so kindly obliged and made me this beautiful, beautiful top. Guys, I am literally obsessed over this new local brand called Girls Religion. This was my first purchase from them and this denim tube is just the bomb. And of course, I didn't stop there. I also got their Liz Maria top, which was ultimately the thing that attracted me to them. I saved up for it and I finally got my own. And oh my goodness, this is easily one of my favorite pieces in my entire wardrobe. It's so fancy, it's so elegant, but it's so cheeky at the same time. 
And that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I had so much fun compiling these outfits for you. Like I said, you guys are my main outlet to justify all these shopping purchases. So I really do hope that you found something you like or a brand you want to check out. I especially love if you supported the local brands that I did mention in this video. As I've been saying, quarantine has been really tough on small brands, small businesses. So this is the best way we can lend our support during these very hard times. So if you like this video, please make sure to leave a comment down below as well as a like so I know that you guys are enjoying it. And please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you can be notified every single time that I post. Also, please don't forget to follow me on the rest of my social media platforms. You can follow me on Instagram at francis.beltran. On TikTok, I'm at oatheaded and my blog is oatheaded.me. I'd love to see you guys there. Let's connect, let's make friends, let's have a good time. So that's it for this week's video. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to stay safe, social distance, wash your hands, disinfect your packages. I'll see you guys next week. And remember that anyone can channel sheep for cheap. Bye guys.